On behalf of Osni Byside, it gives me great pleasure to welcome Neil Smith, who is the Head of Marketing and Technology at StatPro. So Neil, what do you attribute this increased trust in outsourcing and this increased demand in outsourcing services now? I think it's um, you know, good old operational efficiency and, uh, and drive for enhanced service. Um, people want to do more, faster, for less, and they're realising that if they outsource with the right type of provider, they can achieve that. Um, I think it's, uh, um, you know, people are focusing on their core business, and rightly so, and they're working with others to deliver the other additional services that they need. Neil, what are the value-added services that your clients expect as normal now? What are the new functionalities they're looking for? What do you need to deliver them? Well, I think the you know I think the asset management industry has got a bit of catching up to do, to, to be honest, um, to meet the expectations of, of today's investors and certainly tomorrow's investors. We've seen a, a you know a large rise in, in passive funds and ETFs, and I think active managers um, need to be able to tell their story better to justify justify their fee. I think it comes down to you know flexibility of that communication, and I think what we'll see in the future is uh, what's required as a standard is that flexibility and. Getting communications on your own um, on your own terms, rather than just a, a rigid blanket approach on a fixed timescale. Um, you know, for example, nobody waits for their bank statements through the post anymore. They go online and consume their, their financial information how they want to. And I think in, investors want to get that as well from their from their investment managers, um, especially um, you know Generation Y and the, the new investors coming through. Um, they have enormous expectations of a flexibility of communication and, and social interaction with their investment managers. So Neil, I'm going to concentrate more on the technology aspect of your job title. So what changes have you seen in technology over the past six months? What are your clients uh, coming out with their requirements, technological requirements? I think the, the, the biggest change over the last 12 months for me has been um, you know, the, a real, the main adoption of, of cloud computing as, a, as an accepted method of software delivery. Um, people wanting to move away from large software implementations and get up to speed quicker, um, get a return on investment quicker. Instead of going through very, very large IT projects, people don't have the resources for that these days or the time and they're looking to get um, value out of a product much, much faster than they used to. I think the other big change in the industry is, is the rise of, of social media um, within the asset management community. It's, it's slowly happening, but it definitely is. And I don't think uh, you know, the valuations of companies like Twitter and LinkedIn uh, are not overstated. You know, these are hugely valuable pools of data and perfect channels for, for client engagement. So, you know, and, and Stabber Revolution is, is well, we see it as LinkedIn for, for portfolios. So hopefully that will make a big impact on the, uh, on the asset management community as well. So that's where the two aspects of your job title converge. Absolutely. So, so, so how, is, how, how have those requirements, those technology requirements, changed your role, um, at, if at all, or changed your job, if at all, at StatPro? Well, I think um, from, from the marketing angle, it's about getting the, the, the right message out there to, to the right types of client. Um, StatPro Revolution can ad address the solutions for a, a very wide audience, from people managing a few hundred million dollars under management to, to trillions of dollars under custody. So it's about positioning that right message and the solutions and benefits, rather than pushing functions and features, which is what most traditional software companies do. It's about pushing what are the benefits for the clients. And from a technology point of view, again, it's, it's about being able to deliver a service rather than delivering a software project. Okay, so that's what you're seeing. So now here's the big prediction. So what do you think the technology, changes in technology, the technology landscape, the outsourcing landscape is going to look like in a year, in over five years? How do you think it's going to change? Um, well, I think, you know, I, I wish I knew the exact answer to that question, but uh, I think it is going to change, and I think it's going to be more about um, looking at the processes rather than just outsourcing an existing operation and an existing system to another provider. It's about um, actually looking at the processes behind that. Um, there's no value in just continuing to do something just because it's always been done. I think if uh, it's about redefining new processes and selecting the right technology to deliver those processes. So what do you think then the big opportunities are for asset management teams? What do you think they should really focus their efforts on now? Well, I think it's, it's still after the, um, you know, the crisis in 2008, still, st still part of the background here. It's uh, about focusing on the core business and focusing on delivering benefits for the asset manager as, as that type of business rather than um, you know, holding on or looking at existing um, systems just because that's how they've always been done. I think it's about now um, so much new technology available. The delivery of it is incredible through, through means like the cloud and, and the um, software development stack has changed so much then I think it's about redesigning processes to fit with that rather than old processes and trying to, trying to force them into new ways of, of, of delivering technology. And what sessions are you looking forward to seeing at TSAM this year? 
I think it's you know kind of the you know where Stapro sits as a business around you know operational efficiency and, and technology strategy. Those are the streams that uh, that we're uh, you know interested in because that's that's how we can affect and, and help the asset management community. Neil, thank you very much for coming across today. Thanks a lot for your time. No problem. Thank you.